गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल डू चेक आउट माई लास्ट वीडियोज द लिंक्स आर गोइंग टू बी इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स ऑल्सो प्लीज कंसिडर सब्सक्राइबिंग टू लर्न सम रियली कूल ट्रिक्स टूल्स एंड हैक्स दैट कैन एक्चुअली हेल्प यू टेक योर प्रेजेंटेशन टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अ वेरी सिंपल येट अ वेरी यूजफुल टूल विच इज कलर आई ड्रॉपर दिस कैन हेल्प यू इन मल्टीपल वेज ट्रस्ट मी सो यू नो दिस वन थिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द वर्किंग ऑफ द टूल and it's completely different to understand in how many ways you can use the same tool in powerpoint so today i'm going to show you three four ways in which you can use this tool to make the most of it so without any further delay let's begin you know there are times when you want to pick a particular color from a brand logo a jpeg or a picture but you can't get the right shade right for example here if i want like a linden blue i'll try to pick some color that is closest to it in the color bar itself right but it might not be same now let's look at twitter blue i'm going to go to the shape fill find the nearest blue that i can find but it's still not same so how do we get the right color go on eye dropper instead all right click on it and click on the shade that you want to pick and you will get the right shade let's try again with android green i'm going to go to shape fill click on eye dropper and click on the color that you want to fill let's try it once more i want amazon orange it's as easy as that let's try facebook blue i drop a click on the color and you get it let's now finally get the linkedin blue right so can you see how simple is this trick whether it's whatsapp green that i'm going to show you right now i drop a click on the color you can pick it from any jpeg you can pick it from any picture it, it need not be a logo color but whichever picture you want you can actually pick any color from there another way to get the same menu is if you right click get format shape on the right hand side you will see the menu with the color and eye dropper which is same as the one that you were using so you can use eye dropper in this way as well if you don't want to go to shape fill on the top and then you can get any color that you want Now let me show you its usage of it. Can you see this slide? It's not a full picture slide, but I want it to be a full picture one. So one option is if I increase the size of the picture, but that way the picture will pixelate, which I don't want. So to make sure that I have a full screen, I'm going to show you a trick, very quick and easy one. Go to format background, go to color, and use your eye dropper tool. to actually pick the color that you want in the background and you get a full picture slide this works on clear and clean background like single color background like this one so let's do it once again i'll click on the color i drop a and pick the color that you want on the full slide so now you have this canvas to play with you can put your content on the right side while your picture stays on left Let's look at this picture. If I'm making a thematic presentation, I want to use this as my full picture slide. I'm going to go to format background, go to color, eye dropper, and just click on the color that you want on the full screen, full slide. Another thing that you can do with it, for example, if you see here all the text that is in yellow, I have picked that yellow color from the turban. This blue that you see, I have picked it up from the the swanky glasses. See that's how also you can use this app. Now let's look at one last example. I want this slide to be like a full picture slide and I want all these circles to have my own icons, some other icons that I want. So first thing that I would do is make the whole background of same color by using the same trick. Now I don't want this brand point written here because it's a new slide that I'm creating. So I'll go to shapes. Click make a shape which can cover the logo. Again this works on plain backgrounds guys. i drop a choose the color so this is another usage of this tool to actually cover up things that you don't want on slides on clear slides or not on the gradient ones now i'm going to start putting circles on the shapes where you can see the icons and i want this blue color because i think it's looking very nice with orange so i'm going to pick this color from all the circles making sure there's no outline and i'll put it just right above that and now you can actually put any icon over this right So now I have the color right I'll just copy paste it on all the circles adjusting the shape as per the existing one and then you get your own canvas to play with now I can put any logo if I want to put a text I can do that so this this slide becomes like my own slide right even the text that you see above the customer journey one 
if you want to hide that you can do the same trick there as well just put a box use the color dropper to pick the color the orange color of the background and then you can put any text that you may like so now i'm almost done with the fourth circle i'll copy paste it on the last one and voila i'm done so can you see how easy this tool is and it's so useful if you guys enjoyed watching this video please like share and subscribe i'll be covering all sorts of topics from beginner advanced to intermediate level and if there is any particular topic that you would want me to cover do write in the comment box and i will surely make a video on that soon thank you so much for watching power of powerpoint by shruti sharma